everybody welcome welcome once again it's mr dubai off plan with you back again for an exciting new edition um today we will share with you i will share with you today the dubai land department released the 2017 annual transaction report um and just uh, i mean this is my sources straight from the dubai land department website um, which is the government entity, the DLD manages um, all the real estate related affairs um, and they bring a lot of uh, transparency and um, and really, you know, they, all, all the guidelines and everything um, is managed by the land department. So back on, on January 9th of this year, the land department released the results and um, you know we had a fantastic 2017 in a time when everybody or a lot of people are talking about um, you know the market being slow we had 285 billion dirhams that's AED of transactions in 2017 which is phenomenal there was uh, roughly 69,000 real estate transactions last year. So we have um, His Ex- Ex- Excellency Sultan Bouti bin Majreen, who is the Director General of the DLD. He said that the 2017 report, and I quote, this is a quote, right? So in 2017, the, the 2017 report sends reassuring messages of renewed cycle of growth in the coming years, especially when we take into account mo- modern day infrastructure that exists in Dubai. The numbers and figures contained in the report confirm the strengths of Dubai real estate market and its ability to grow from year to year. Among the positive signs of the report is the lead UAE nationals have in investments, as well as the the diversity of the investor base, which reflects the attractiveness of the Dubai real estate market to global investors. So the report also says that there's been a 6% increase in the num- in terms of number and a 4% increase in the value when compared to the 2015 statistics of 275 billion uh, and an increase of 14% in number and a 6% in value compared to the AD 268.7 billion for 2016. So, you know, 2015, we saw, um, I mean, I remember that year, you know, we, we had a massive year, and in, in, in 16, yeah, a lot of people were saying, you know, there was a slowdown, but not by much. In 17, uh, people were saying there's a slowdown, but we see that there's been a tremendous growth. Um, so some other interesting statistics that I found from the report is the turnout from global investors. We find that for 2017, the, the UAE market attracted um, individuals from the Gulf nationality, so that's the GCC, um, Arab and foreigners, with a total of 39,480 investors who made nearly 53,000 transactions worth more than 807 billion. So according to the same report, over 9,790 Gulf nationals made 14,381 transactions worth more than 37 billion. The Dubai real estate market attracted nearly 7,000 Arab investors who closed 8,644 real estate transactions worth over 14 billion. There was also a high number of activity among other foreign investors with nearly 23,000 investors making approximately 30,000 transactions worth 56 billion throughout 2017 women were also quite active in the in the market you know it's just 2018 it's women empowerment time and uh, they the women were very much active in investing with about 11,773 women 
entering the market with a total of 14,316 transactions worth 27 billion. If we look at the list of the top investing nationalities, we find that the UAE investors, uh, the Emirati, right, the people, the Emirati nationals, were in the lead and they invested about 25.3 uh, billion dirhams. The second place was for the Indian investors who invested 15.6 billion. The Saudis came in third place with investments exceeding 7 billion and then that was followed by the British nationals who invested about 6 billion and the Pakistani nationals who invested about 5 million. Some of the other top um, nationalities also included the Chinese, Jordan, Egyptians and Canadians. They were also among some of the top uh, investors in Dubai. So the areas which were high in demand, we found that the Burj Khalifa area, there was 2008 transactions worth 7.3 billion. Um, we all know who, who made Burj, Burj Khalifa, right? So MR is, is uh, the master developer for that region. So in Business Bay, which is uh, Dubai properties, uh, came in second place with 3,763 transactions worth 7.1 billion dirhams. Dubai Marina, again, MR is the master developer there, came in third place with 3,300 tra transactions worth nearly 7 billion. Now this area, Hadek Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, came in fourth. I googled it up and it's essentially all that area, Mohammed bin Rashid city, on Maidan, and we know there's a bunch of developers which are active there. Um, Azizi, Shoba, Mag, um, amongst um, um, you know, a few others there. Smaller developers coming up over there as well. So that came in fourth place with 1,948 transactions worth about 5.6 billion. Bursha South came in fifth with 3,138 transactions worth about 4 billion. Then fifth place was for Jabal Ali at 2,750 transactions worth at uh, 2.4 billion. And then a couple other areas as well, which were quite uh, popular as well. In conclusion, His Excellency Bin Najirin, he, he, he mentioned, and I quote as best as I can, such results would not have been possible without our firm commitment to the vision of our wise leadership and our keenness to achieve the highest level of excellence in our innovative services that will reassure all segments of investors, allowing Dubai to remain an attractive investment environment for investors seeking a safe return on investment. That is clearly seen through the base of investors of more than 200 nationalities from all continents of the world. So yeah, I mean that's what Dubai's got to offer. Um, it's very clear, transparent information. I mean the numbers don't lie. Uh, 2017 was a great year. I'm looking forward, forward to 2018. I mean, what real estate goals do you guys have this year? Is it the first time you're looking to buy in Dubai? Are you, um, want, or do you want to sell off all your assets? Are you, are you, did you just move here? Are you renting in Dubai? What areas do you like? Uh, what information can I share? Just uh, comment below and let me know what type of videos you want to see. Um, if you've got any further questions about this or anything else, you know what to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button to continue to see content like this. And comment below, let me know what I can do for you. This is Mr. Dubai Off Plan, signing off. See you guys next time.